Hey guys, this is Admiral Seabass. Um, just a short note here before I post the video on uh, cyber warfare for the Eastern Pack. I'm not sure I completely did the sequencing right um, of the cyber warfare attacks. I believe I did uh, the attacks themselves correctly, and they will give you an indication of how it works. But just don't take the sequencing of the cyber warfare attacks and the counter uh, cyber warfare from the Western Allies as gospel truth for this game. Uh, with that, I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, this is Admiral Seabass. Welcome back to my war room in Indianapolis, Indiana. And uh, I'm going to do a video here just demonstrating turn one of this game. Um, Global War 2025 Meltdown. Why a demo? Well, I mean, I, I know the rules. I, I've read the rules a couple times. Um, I'm ready to play. I really want to paint my units, though. And also, Doug sent me some 3D add-ons that I want to paint up and show you. He sent me some extra carriers for India, and he sent me some 3D printed drones also to replace the uh, drone markers. But I really want to show you how this game works, and frankly, I'm kind of like a kid in a candy store. I kind of want to just play the game a little bit, too. So I'm going to do a turn one demo and just show you how the game works and demonstrate some of the key concepts. So... Um, these are your reference uh, sheets and uh, the setups on the back. You don't need that anymore. Um, and here's the the, the turn uh, sequence. So first of all, all the Eastern Pack countries go first, and they all go together. So all three of these evil dudes here are going to all go together, and then the Western Alliance goes second. So there's five parts of every turn: planning, combat orders, combat strategic movement, and end of turn. And then in planning. Um, the first thing you do is cyber warfare. So each faction has these cyber warfare points. And um, so you can see here, uh, Russia has four of these. And uh, I already gave Doug an idea to sell uh, more of these markers. And I think he's going to do that soon. So I got to figure out how to do these cyber warfare attacks. And here are your options for cyber warfare attacks. And I'm going to spread these around. So... Please don't take anything I'm doing as, oh, this is the best strategy or whatever. I'm literally, my, my bias here is to demonstrate the concepts. So I'm going to spread these around all over the board, and then I'm going to show you what uh, I ended up doing with each of these. So I will do that, and then I will be right back. Okay, so Russia is going to spend uh, one cyber warfare point on um, trying to gain, it's called uh, geopolitical influence. They're going to try to plus up their diplomacy role for Brazil this turn. And then they're going to spend two on a uh, port uh, attack, cyber attack on that port in France, which is key to getting sea lift in from Europe. Russia's going to try to crush NATO. And to do that, they got to limit U.S. sea lift coming over. So they're going to do a port attack there. Um, the Caliphate is going to do spend two of their points on what's called military intelligence. That's one extra dice roll for, uh, no, no, sorry, that's not military intelligence. That is uh, cyber criminal. Only the Eastern Pack can do this, and that gives them extra money if they succeed. And then the other one they're doing is a critical infrastructure attack on NATO. That's that chip in the middle. That will cause NATO, if successful, that'll cause NATO to pay money to the bank. And then China is spending two, those two chips, on an airfield attack uh, against that airfield in South Korea. Why? So I can limit um, the good guys from sending airlift in there if I damage that. And then they're also going to spend two on military intelligence. Each success will allow, give them um, one extra dice uh, for uh, a unit in combat. Um, so that's what's going to happen. Now, the um, Western Alliance has to decide if they're going to use any cyber points to counter any of this. So the U.S. is going to take one um, out of their dashboard and use that to counter in Brazil. So what that means is if, if Russia rolls and succeeds on this cyber um, geopolitical influence attempt... The U.S. will have a chance to roll, and if they succeed in that, they they cancel that out. Okay. Uh, NATO is going to spend one, and with that one, they're going to try to counter that if that's successful. 
And then the Pacific Coalition, they're going to spin one to try to counter that base attack there. Okay. And you can see that um, also the, the bad guys, as I call them, the Eastern Pact, they, uh, they saved some too to try to counter any Western Alliance cyber activities in the Western Alliance turn. Okay. So this is a geopolitical influence attempt in Brazil, and the Russians need a six. They didn't get it, so the U.S. doesn't even have to try to counter, so we clean that up. Okay, so the port attack. Russians are going to roll two dice. Didn't get a six, but let's pretend like they did get a six. So now... That has succeeded, but NATO has a counter here, so if NATO rolls a six, they'll cancel that out. Oh, and they did. Look at that. So the hackers, the counter hackers have succeeded. So now, in the middle here, this was a caliphate critical infrastructure attack on NATO. So the player chooses an enemy faction to target. Each roll of six is a success. Each success causes the target faction to pay one to six. IPP to the bank. So let's see if this succeeds. It does not. <clears throat> Just wiped out France there. Okay. Now we're coming down to here in the middle. These two symbolize the um, cyber criminal attempts <laughs> from the caliphate. <clears throat> so we're going to roll two dice. This one says each six is a success and gives the faction one to six IPP to spend. Oh, so there's, sorry for rolling these on, on camera here, but thought that would be better. So I got one success and then one to five IPP. Oh, that's another six. That's six extra IPP that the Caliphate just got. So that's huge for them. So you can see here, I'm taking six IPP and I'm putting that on top of the Caliphate's money here. Okay. And then over here, China has two <clears throat> attempts against the South Korean base. Let me go ahead and roll those. No successes there, so that's all gone. And by the way, these cyber points reset at the start of every Eastern Pack player's turn. So you'll get more of these later. And then these two here are called um, <clears throat> military intelligence. So let's roll those. And those both fail, but let's assume one of them had succeeded. That gives the Chinese... Where's my six? I'm going to grab this and put it on their dashboard. An extra dice to roll in combat. Basically, so I just put that on the Chinese dashboard right there to remind me that they have that to use when they're planning their attacks this turn. All right, so guys, that was cyber warfare and how that works. Again, pretty fast, uh, lots of different options, and uh, lots of fun uh, things you can do to your opponents.